Denise here, thank you so much for joining. Today I'm gonna to discuss some of the pros and cons of pre-construction. A lot of these are gonna be somewhat obvious, but before you rush in to purchasing pre-construction, it's important to understand what exactly you're getting into. Obviously, you're getting a brand new apartment built to the latest codes and specifications. After the Surfside condo disaster, many buyers are becoming more conscientious about when buildings were built and how they were constructed. In Israel, buyers are especially sensitive to having a safe room, both as an escape from a potential God forbid missile attack or as an important structural security measure against earthquakes and building deterioration. There are very few property owners that haven't run into water damage and other building defects, both in old and new buildings. The law of sale in Israel for new construction requires developers and builders to provide warranties for building defects for up to seven years, depending on the defect. Of course, a guarantee is only as good as those giving it, which is why it's so important to do a thorough background check on the developer or contractor before purchasing the property. New construction often means greater building amenities, or at the very least, parking, storage, though not always standard, especially in tunnel projects, and an elevator. Be sure to confirm an estimated monthly cost for those amenities. Another obvious advantage is that your ability in many developments to choose the layout and finishes so that your property reflects your own personal taste. Lastly, flexible payment terms. Often a developer will be more flexible in their payment terms, allowing for a relatively small down payment with the larger sum being left for the end. Usually payment terms call for 15 plus percent down and then incremental payments with the advancement of set construction milestones. Here are some of the potential downsides and pitfalls for new construction. The price is almost never what you usually agree to, and often the added costs translate to an overall premium price for the property. Payments are made according to a building index, which has seen a major increase during the recent inflation. Since December 2020, the index has gone up anywhere from 0.2% to 0.8%. That unknown can get quite costly. New construction almost never comes with building closets, light fixtures, and other basics. You will almost always add a considerable sum for the kitchen and other upgrades. There's also the return rate. If you're buying with a mortgage, your payments will almost certainly kick in before you take possession of the property. You can wait years until your apartment is ready, and all that time you could have collected rent had you purchased a second-hand home. You also don't always get what you want. According to most contracts, size may vary by as much as 15%. According to the law of sale, apartments are measured from exterior wall to exterior wall, including 50% of adjoining walls. You can't always gauge variables like the smell, airflow, light, etc., and can't get a real feel of the property. Time is often a factor against you. While the contractor wants to finish ASAP, Corona, a lack of proper financing, permit-related issues, and other variables can add months and sometimes years to the process, so be patient. While most new construction is protected by the law of sale with a reputable financial institution, financing the project and insuring your money, there is still a level of risk, though low, that the contractor developer goes bankrupt and you're left with, at the very least, a major delay in construction, as the bank or insurance company seeks a replacement. Finally, the process is often a tedious one that requires submitting multiple plans and choosing finishes with tight deadlines, making it difficult to accomplish without hiring independent professionals to assist in the process, especially for those purchasing overseas. This, of course, also adds to the overall cost of the property. So to summarize, there are pros and cons to new construction, just like there are pros and cons to any real estate purchase. There are some excellent new construction opportunities. You just need the right person to walk you through the process and go in eyes wide open. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more information on new construction projects or any properties in Israel, contact us at goodbyrealestate.com.